Hello! So, today I'll show you how to create classes in Boob Meeting app and to schedule your future classes for your students. So, first things first, you have to download or install the Boob software in your computer or desktop computer so that you can use it in your class. So, to start, you have to click you have to click the button or uh, the the Boob button there on the bottom of your toolbox or and then once you click that one, you will you will so since that I already scheduled all my classes, this these rooms or classrooms will pop up on your uh, Boob Meeting screen. But if you don't create uh, any of the classes, of course, there's nothing there. Okay, so to schedule your class, you have to click this schedule button. But since if you already have the link for the for the Zoom meeting or for the, the class, you can just click the join, then input there the meeting ID. Alright, so but since uh, I'll show you how to create uh, to create your class or schedule schedule your class, so you, we must click this one. Okay, so when you click this one, this window will pop up in your screen. It will uh, teach, you teach you how to. How to uh, what's the name of your classroom or the topic that you were going to talk about in the meeting or so for example the name of your student is Ava so we can put there Ava's classroom there and then the start date you can click that one so this will be an automatic uh, automatic date that will that will pop up here the date for today so it's 26th of June and then you put there the time. Let's say, for example, your class will begin at uh, 12, all right? Or let's say 11, 11 o'clock. So you can choose 11 there, the time. And of course, you know, what will be the duration of your class? So there are some choices here. You can click 15 minutes, but for us, we usually use 30 minutes because we will conduct 25 minutes of class. You can also make it one hour, so it's up to you. So let's choose the 30 minutes for the class. So don't touch anything in here. That's the, your time zone. So for the recurring of classes, this is very important, guys. So that you, in the future classes, you don't have to send the link to your student from time to time. So in here, I want you to choose your daily. Alright? So daily. Okay. And then, we put there the end of this link or the the coverage of uh, the, the link that the, that the student can use in the future. So I want you to make it until December, okay? Not a month because uh, you will send another link to, uh, to the student every month. So it will confuse sometimes what link will be going to use for the classes. So I want you to click this here, Monday, all right, 25. And then don't touch anything in here. Um, then you're good to go for that. Then you click the schedule button here, okay? So let's click that one. And there you go. So this window will automatically pop up. Because this is an Outlook uh, window, Windows uh, software. Uh, it always reminds you that you are uh, creating another window or schedule. So you d disregard this one. Kindly ignore this one. Or you can just close this. Alright? Okay. And then... So here's already the uh, the classroom that we created. This one, right? Ava's classroom. So I want you to uh, click this five minutes five minutes before your class. So let's say, for example, it's time for your class. So you click this one, and when you click this one, there's another window that will pop up in your screen. So in here, you have to check your mic if it is working. Of course, the gre uh, the green color is uh, showing up and down. And then your camera, you can click this one. You can also choose here different kinds of camera that you're going to use. For, for me, I usually use Manicam for my, uh, for my class because uh, uh, it, it, you can use there many, many kinds of uh, pictures. Alright, so when you turn it on, of course, you can see your face. So you can switch it, switch it off and on. It's up to you. And also in here, you can see here different kinds of choices. So you share your screen, then security, don't touch that one. Invite. So if you want to invite your student, of course, you have to click this one. Once you click that one, this window will pop up in your screen and click the copy all or copy meeting ID 
then send it to me in Viber, okay? So that yeah, we can send it to your student. Alright, so then next, we have here chat, the chat. You can chat your students here. And also, we have here the record button and the... Uh, okay. And then, later on, you can also allow your student to write something on their screen. So, for example, I'll share my screen to you. Uh, let's gonna watch a video, for example. Okay. So, let's click the start sharing button right there. And... You choose the window that you want to share to your student. So let's say, for example, I will going to share my uh, my uh, browser because we were going to see a video. So make sure you click this to share the audio to your student. If you don't click that one, of course, your student can't hear you. So make sure you click this one before you share your screen. Click this before you click the button, okay? So click share and then your screen will be showed to your student. So you can watch a video there. You can click a video. Then after that, you, send the to your you can the, make the writings, it. All the words, the pictures, the... Okay, then you can make it in full screen mode. So you can maximize that as well. And uh, so I prefer or I, I suggest you can maximize your screen so that uh, the window that will pop up to your student screen is, is the whole video. So, other, other unnecessary things or videos that showing in YouTube will not be uh, popping up in your student's window. So, let's say you are done with your uh, video. So, you can stop sharing your screen. You can see there at the top of your screen, you can see there the, the choices. You can uh, annotate to the student. You allow the student to write something on their screen. So, you click that one. Allow other attendees to annotate. So you click that one. If you uncheck this, your student can't write something on the screen. So make sure you click that one so that your student can write something there on the screen. Okay, so let's stop sharing your, our... Uh, um, I'll stop sharing the window so that you can share your book for the class. Okay? So for our class, guys, we were going to use the class in blackboard so that it will be easier for you to copy and paste some of the pictures there all right so in the and uh, this time i'll show you how to how to make your video okay how to make your video work so you can also use it here manicam or um, anything you want or also here the video you can make it blurry for the background like that and then you can change it like this and that okay so but i prefer this i'm not using any of the background okay so for the audio you can test the the audio if it's working well and so on all right so i hope you learned something in this tutorial and i will show you next how to use the class in tools so that's very easy guys once you are done with your class you can say bye bye to your student and then click the end button right there so end meeting and that's all so, all right so i'll share my screen of course first thing first you have to click the class a class in button at the toolbox at the bottom corner of your screen then once you click it you can see this window all right so you don't have to touch anything there since that we can't use class in for for our classes all you have to do guys is to click this blackboard menu button there okay the blackboard button on the left side of your of the class in window so you click that one then the blackboard window because when you when you click that one it will also open a new window so make sure the window that you're sharing is correct because if not your student can can't see the book and the things that you are writing in the book so you share it again and then this screen will pop up in class in this is the blackboard so you can write there okay you can write there hello like that okay uh, and then we have here the this this one so to make the text move or to let the pictures move then the eraser 
Okay, also you can change color there. You can make it uh, orange. Okay, and then you can make it yellow and it's up to you. You can also do like this, that line. And then, this one you can make a square. You can change it to make a square, another square, circle, lines, etc. So that's for this tool, tools here. So for, for the eraser, you can only erase those lines with that you use as a pen, this, this one. But if you use the line and you use this, you can erase this with this eraser. So all you have to do guys is to click this one. You click this one so that you can erase it all. Then you click the you click the backspace button on your keyboard to delete the the lines. Okay. So for the text, it's very easy as well. You can click that one and write something there. For example, hello. Then you can also change the color. So to change the color, you have to click this again, the cursor, and you can change it like this. Make it green, blue, orange, pink, etc. And then you can also delete that, like that. If you want to, uh, to do screenshots, so for example, like that. So let's click this one, then screenshot. Okay, so as you see, here's already the screenshot. But if you don't, if you will create another screenshot and you don't like the screenshot that you took, then you can uh, close that one. Okay, so in here, in class in, you can also open your drive here so for your drive guys i want you to upload all the books that you were going to use in in your class so you click this upload button and then open file then there's a window of your computer that will pop up in your screen choose the book and click open okay and it will be uploaded in class in drive so i want you also to organize your books okay so name it, rename it, it's up to you as long as you understand and it will be easier for you to use while you're having class. Also, to make it more beautiful or to make it more lively or to change the, the color of your blackboard. So in order to change the color, you have here the options there. So you click this library option here or menu, then click resources folder, then classroom background, click that one. Okay, you can choose there many kinds of designs that you want. You can make it like that. You can make it like the spaceman or you can make it uh, black paper or blackboard. So it's up to you. But usually I, use, I, I prefer using this one. So I, I suggest you guys to use this. Uh, it looks clean and friendly. So I hope you can also you, you'll use this in your class. So that's very easy. Okay, so... If you chat there to your student, <laughs> the student can't receive the chat that you sent. So if you want to chat, chat your student, so of course, you click the, the VOOB meeting chat box there. Okay? On the top corner of your screen. Alright, so next is I'll show you how to copy and paste a picture to class in. It's very easy. So first thing, you have to open your browser Okay, open your browser, guys. It can be Google Chrome or uh, Microsoft Edge. It's up to you. So, let's say, for example, I open my browser already. Okay. So, you click there. Let's say, for example, you wanted to reward your student. You want them to give some uh, crown. Okay. Okay, and then you click here in the images uh, tab or label, link label. Then you can choose many kinds of grounds that you want to offer your students. So, more be, uh, be creative. So, for example, let's use the, this one. Uh, okay, this one. So, I will going to use this one. So, all you have to do, guys, is to hover your mouse to that picture. Then, right-click. Then, copy image. Okay, copy image. Once you copy that one already, you, you go back to... Go back to class in, alright, in your class in Blackboard. So you go back there and click this button, button right there, this one. Okay, guys, this button. Make sure you click that one before you click the Control V to your keyboard. It should be Control v, v, guys, okay? It's Control, control V to your key, 
keyboard to paste the picture. Okay, also you can you can screenshot, you can do screenshot for the 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 photo of your student. You can tell your student, okay, smile, let's take a photo. Then you can use this seesaw there in the toolbox. And click that one and do the screenshot and click check and put it there to your student. And your student will be very happy for that. Okay? So that's all for the copy and pasting of the pictures from Google Chrome to class in. So and then to to upload your files guys i already show you so to open it in class in you have to click for example your your student name is dana so you click there some books of dana and then it will be automatically click uh open here in class and you can make it small you can drag like that you can minimize that one and click this one again and minimize it's up to you you can also write there in the book you can do screenshot you can write the text so just explore guys okay so once you're done you can close the book or leave it for the next class if it's the same book that you were going to use then you can leave it there so i hope you learned something from this tutorial and uh, if you have any question let me know okay so once you're done with your class you can stop sharing your screen and close the blackboard then prepare the next book for your student